Hello, Sagittarius viewers. So the last reading I did, I was getting that there's some kind of love triangle here. Someone is going to come charging in unexpectedly. Um, there's two people that are jealous and competing over your attention. Now, this could be going on in the higher realms as well. This might not be something that you're fully um, conscious of, or I shouldn't say you're not fully conscious of it. You can probably feel that energy. You can probably feel that you have multiple options, like telepathically, but you might not know exactly what that energy is. So it could be that you just have someone coming in and you have a jealous ex that wants to block it, but they're not going to be able to block it. It's basically what I get. Especially if you have an ex that does witchcraft or anything of that sort. They might be kind of tapping in and making sure you don't have other options or trying to make sure. But you're protected, so don't worry about it. Just try to keep your vibrations high and, and this love will come in if it hasn't already. Uh, cold, guarded, distrusting, manipulation, deception, ex. Yeah, this is about an ex right here. An ex that was manipulated, manipulative, deceptive, kind of cold. Maybe had a lot of trust issues with you or with people in general. Kind of, um, I don't know why I heard misogynistic for a couple of you. Um, just overly guarded. And we have hesitation, mixed feelings. And we're in Mercury retrograde right now, so exes typically do pop up during retrograde. So I would not be surprised if some of you get a message from this person. Yeah, this person, this ex hesitated. They had mixed feelings. They weren't sure about you. I feel like this is someone that kind of wanted to have their cake and eat it too. And now you have this true love, this potential life partner coming in. And there's these, uh, not control issues, but like there's, um, like I think your true love is kind of being the dominant one here. Your true love is, I, I mean, they're picking up on you. You guys are maybe having dreams about each other or just like sensing each other's energy. I don't know if you guys have actually met in the physical yet. Oh, sorry. Let me straighten that up for you guys. It's really interesting how quickly the story changed, too, because for the longest time for Sagittarius, I was getting this energy of, you know, your person working through their commitment issues and their fears. Like, we've been channeling that for, like, like I don't know, seven or eight months at least now. Um, the story of someone, you know, a soulmate or a twin flame that had to go on their own path for a while they had to learn their lessons the hard way. They went through a dark night of the soul. They went through a psychic awakening. They, um, you know, they're spiritually open now where they weren't before. Just lots of healing, lots of shadow work. And we've kind of been, you know, channeling that journey. And it's really interesting that things have just shifted so drastically now. It's like you have just this this other lover coming in out of nowhere and it's almost like you're you've been working to towards things with this other person and now you're kind of questioning it a little bit I feel like I think you know who each person is so for some the true love is the person that um we've been channeling over the last eight months the person that's been getting their life together finally and they're coming back in and they're in this dominant energy finally whereas before they were hesitant but now they're more sure about you. Um, for others, the for, for most of you, I think that's probably the story. But for some of you, I feel like the person that just would not get their stuff together, it's like they unfortunately went down a darker path. Like they were getting it together. They were doing the healing work and they just slipped back into something recently like drugs, alcohol, um, gambling, some kind of like negative cycle. Um could be entertaining uh, lo lower forces like darker, you know, darker energies and that kind of thing. And there's nothing wrong with darkness. There, there needs to be a healthy balance, though. And I feel like this person's very passionate, so they kind of lack that balance. But it feels like for some of you, um, you know, the person we've been channeling that's been getting it together and been, you know, doing better and doing the shadow work and healing, it's like they got frustrated and they're kind of going down a different path right now. Um, 
in the universe, the universe, let me tell you though, even if that is the story, I know how frustrating that probably is. If you've been watching these videos for a while and it's like your person just, you know, kind of, I mean, they've been healing it's, and I shouldn't say that they're, I shouldn't say that they're going to go down a dark path for long. It's just the current energy. So, I mean, people sometimes get upset about my readings or like, you know, it's not what they want to hear, but I mean, it, it is what it is. Like I'm unbiased when I read the cards, I just channel the situation. So I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm not saying that what this person did or is doing is okay. I'm just telling you guys what's going on. And then if you guys want advice, I can do that as well. And, and, you know, but I, I just, I know a lot of you want to know just what's happening because you can't tell sometimes with your person, especially if you're too emotionally invested. So please just remember that I'm just channeling the story. Like it's not, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm unbiased here. This is just what the cards are saying. This is just what I'm channeling. You know, it is what it is. But, um, but anyway, I just want to say like for, for those, if your person is going on that darker path, it doesn't mean that they're going to stay there forever. But I feel like if that is happening, your spirit guides are kind of fed up with it. Like they're not going to keep doing this because your person was really close to, to coming through is what I'm feeling. Like they were, you know, they had done the shadow work. They had changed. They had matured. This is someone that had really bad commitment issues, probably based on, um, they're not like a bad person. I don't feel, I feel like it's more like someone who just has childhood, um, wounds and like commitment issues based on like past relationships and that kind of stuff. But like deep down, they actually are a family oriented person. Like this person is not shallow. They're very passionate. They're very emotionally deep. They do want love. They do want commitment, but they just kept running from themselves and running from, from jobs, you know, running from, you know, different living situations, friends, friend groups, love, whatever it might be. Um, and I feel like for some of you, it's like this person was, you know, they had reached that, that epiphany, that clarity. And I don't know if something maybe just happened and they handled it in a negative way. So at the moment they're kind of in this darker energy, but you have true love coming in either way. So if that did happen, like I said, there's two stories here. So if that's the story and your person is kind of going down a, a different path now, just a little bit, then they'll probably come back around. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's just the current energy. Maybe the Mercury retrograde energy is really stressing them out and they're kind of resorting back to their old ways of coping with stress, which might be like drinking or something of that sort. And, um, so they're kind of off path, but it's going to be a learning lesson. It's going to be a karmic lesson for them. It might just be one more, one or two more karmic lessons they have to go through. But I just want to say, if that is the case, your, your guides are going to bring you a, um, a new potential life partner. You just have to put yourself out there though. Cause some of you are like, where is my love? Where is my person? But you're like literally not going outside. Like you have to, you have to go out and do things. And I know it's hard because of COVID. So I'm not saying to just go, you know, to a rave and do whatever. I'm just saying like, try to try the dating apps, try to, um, and that's just for a few of you. I know some of you are already doing that, but I mean, for those that aren't, it's like, try the dating apps, try, um, you know, going out and meeting people. Um, Bumble is a really good one because it's like you can make friends on there and it's like people that are more interested in dating, it seems like. So that's that's a good app to use, I would say. Um, but yeah, just for those of you that are like have been alone for a long time, it's like you do have to put yourself out there too. It's a There's a balance, you know what I mean? But, but I just want to say like, sorry, sometimes when I channel, I start rambling. But I want to say that your spirit guides are going to make sure that you have your true love, your potential life partner. Like you've waited long enough to find this person. So they're not going to keep this from you. If, if this, uh, if this person that we've been channeling over the last like six, seven months does stay on this darker path for more than like, I would say a month, your spirit guides are going to say, screw it. And they're going to bring this new person in possibly even sooner because they don't want you to go to be dragged on this path with this person for much longer. They know that you love them. And so they're trying to respect your wishes. And this is pos a potential life partner, at least a soulmate. Um, so they, they do, they did want that for you. They do want that for you, but they're not going to let your, they're not going to let you devote too much more energy to this. At a certain point, your spirit guides are honestly going to cut you off. They're going to say, you know what? We actually like no more of this, you know, like they're just, they're going to bring someone new in instead. 
because they don't want you to keep going on this roller coaster with this person. And I know that sucks. I'm sorry for those of you that have been waiting like six, seven months, like we've been channeling this person and they've been getting it together. Like, but I mean, the energy is what it is. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I'm just channeling what is. I'm just channeling what's going on with this person. I'm not saying it's fair, but it is it is what it is. But like I said, a lot of them will probably come back around. They might just be going through a lot of stress during Mercury retrograde, might be maybe drinking. But I feel like when retrograde clears up, a lot of them are going to be coming back out of that energy. So, you know, later towards, later towards the end of the month, I feel like we'll probably be getting them back on track. But like I said, for a lot of you, you might just have true love, like another potential life partner coming in instead, and you might decide you don't even want this. And for others, like I said, there's two stories here. So for a lot of you, this is actually not even the person we've been channeling. This is a different ex that was hesitant in the past. And they want to come back around, but the person we've been channeling for the past six, seven months is, is, you know, the potential life partner that's coming back around and they're in this dominant energy now and they're taking control. Um, there's, you know, two stories here. I feel like most of you will intuitively know which story is yours because if the person that you've been channeling is going down a darker path, you, I think you would have intuitively felt it. Like you would have felt like a pit in your stomach. Like you felt like super hopeful like you felt like they're about to message and then out of nowhere you just feel like upset like you feel sad about them you can tell something's going on but you can't put your finger on it then if that's the case and that might very well be your story but you know again not to fear there's two different scenarios either they're gonna I, I do I really do feel like a lot of them will wrap this up after Mercury retrograde I feel like this is just temporary energy they are going down another path but I really feel like they'll come back. I feel like there's just a lot of heavy energy that they're being hit with during Mercury retrograde. And I've noticed fire signs um, are wrapping up karmic cycles a lot right now. So you could be like you and also like if if they're if they have fire in their chart, or even if they don't, I just noticed a lot of people in general right now are wrapping up karmic cycles. So it might feel heavy and kind of chaotic and confusing. But they might just have like a few harsh karmic lessons to learn during Mercury retrograde that they're getting hit with all at once. And it might be very overwhelming for them. So they're, they're kind of, their spirit guides are hoping they step up, but some of them might be kind of turning back to their old ways of coping with things. Um, just because they don't really know how to handle all that. But, um, you know, karmic cycles are being cleared. So that's one thing that you need to know right now, because it, it, there might be like financial issues, like issues in relationships, it, it feels like a negative thing right now, but it's actually a really positive thing because you're coming out of stagnant energy. So a lot of just anything that's been holding you back or, and, and same for them, anything that's been holding them back, you know, might just be being cleared out right now during the retrograde. I know it sucks. And a lot of people get scared of, um, a lot of people get kind of scared of like holding on because they feel, or sorry, they get, people get scared of letting go because they feel like they just have to hold on to things and they feel like if they let go, bad things are going to happen. And I want to explain that. It's not that bad things happen when you let go. It's that the energy that's been blocking you from being your, your highest self and from being successful and from being happy and being with your true love, it gets cleared away. So you might, you know, let go and surrender and just live in the moment. And then you lose your job and you're like, oh my God, I shouldn't have let go. I should have, you know, held on to my control issues. But it's like, no, like you're letting go. It's like a flood that comes pouring in. Like that old job was stagnant. It was keeping you trapped. You were numb. You were unhappy there. So the divine is pushing that out of your life because you're letting go and you're surrendering and you're trusting the process. So the divine is taking that old job out of your life so it can replace it with a, a new job that's going to be healthy for you, that's going to make you happy. Same with old relationships. It's like you let go and then you lose your person. Like they break up with you. But maybe that person was toxic for you and like you knew it, but you were ignoring the red flags. Um, and you know, then that makes room for, you know, your true love to come in instead. Does that make sense? It's like letting go is not a bad thing. It's just that sometimes there is a lot of old stuck energy that has to be cleared out. And that can be, it's almost like a physical purging process too. It's like, you might feel sick at first, but you feel way better when it's done with. It's kind of like that with spiritual purges as well. It's like you're, when you let go, you're saying, I'm ready to purge. I'm ready to clear out this old energy. I'm ready for the new and you have to just keep letting go. You have to keep stepping out of your comfort zone 
and getting in touch with this um, new energy that you're trying to manifest in your life, as scary and uncomfortable as it might be is to, at times, um, it's part of the process. So trust it. Um, let's see here. And if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box. It is Dragon Enchantress, but you can just, just copy and paste it from the description box. Um, any donations are appreciated too. My donation links are below and please subscribe if this resonates. Yeah, there might have been. And I hope I'm not too far behind you guys. Sometimes I keep channeling like the new love coming in because I know that people in this energy group, some of you have not met this person yet. So I'm trying to make sure everyone's caught up. But at the same time, for those of you that have already met this person, I want to make sure I'm giving you like insight into this person. So, you know, time is kind of tricky sometimes with reading. So I just want to make sure everyone in the energy group is caught up to this. Um, I do feel that I do feel that love triangle energy still. I actually get a feeling of like peace kind of looking at this energy. So I feel like that's where we've come in the past month because before I was getting like a love triangle. So I feel like for some of you, the love triangle might have ended actually. For some of you, the the, the whoever the toxic person is because there's one person that's kind of manipulative or kind of just like not on the right path. And then there's someone that's actually like really good for you. There's someone here that is your true love. And I almost feel like for, for a lot of you, I feel like they won the battle. Like it might've been like a spiritual psychic battle. You might've felt that energy and, but not been able to tell what exactly it was you were feeling, but you might've been like kind of channeling it because like I said, for some of you, this, this might not have taken place in the physical world. For some of you, it's like you just have this new love coming in and your person kind of, um, like in the 5D, like telepathically, like someone might have been like meditating or um, trying to tune into this and trying to block this from you. But I feel like they were not successful. Like they've either. I mean, it's like still a little bit of a love triangle, but it's just not as intense as it was. So the the weaker person is not fighting as hard for you now, if that makes sense. The toxic person is not fighting as hard as they were before. Because like a month ago when I got this, it's like they were there was like a major psychic battle going on between two people. So I feel like you either just you already met your person, like maybe it's not even who you think it is, or you're about to meet them. So it's it's kind of like it's kind of like the weaker person, the more manip manipulative person, um, the more insecure person in this connection kind of gave up on fighting for you. There might be still fighting a little bit, but someone, someone's like an alpha heel. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Someone is an alpha, alpha male or alpha female. Someone is confident and independent and sure of what they want. And they're the dominant one. And this ex, whoever this is, this past energy, like I said, there's two different scenarios here. Um, and you know, I think that you know who this is already. So, but the person that was manipulative, deceptive, kind of insecure, I feel like they were distrusting. And so I feel like this would be the type of person that would like try to make you delete all your friends off like Facebook or something, or they would like try to gaslight you or try to, um, just some kind of toxicity. They're not like, I don't know how to explain it. Because it's almost like some of them did get on a better path and then something happened and now their insecurities are getting the best of them and they're kind of, you know, going back to their old ways. Um, but some kind of manipulative. It, it's manipulation and deception based on a fear of lack, a fear of losing you, a fear of rejection, um, humiliation. But But yeah, like I said, someone here is more dominant. So the dominant person is winning. So if, if there is still a psychic battle going on, like your true love is the one winning that. So if this person has been trying to block you from their true love, from your true love, like it's, they're weakened. They're, they're not going to be able to block this person from coming in if they have not come in already. I just want you guys to know that, um, you know, they might try to, but it's just, it's not, 
it really feels like a psychic battle because whoever this toxic, whoever this like manipulative person is, it feels like they're like they're weakened. Like it really feels like they've been like psychically attacked. Like your person straight up is like, no, like, uh, uh, your person is the dominant one. There might have been miscommunication taking place. So for those of you that are, I mean, everyone's psychic, but for some, some, some of you are like, you know, doing this yourself, like you do readings yourself or you're, you know what I mean? Like you have like psychic dreams and visions and maybe you don't know what they are at times. I feel like there was miscommunication because of these two different energies. So at times you might have been confused about what you were picking up on. Like you might have felt like love coming from someone and thought it was this toxic ex or, um, you know, vice versa. Like you might've felt like this toxic energy and, you know, thought like just not known who it was from. Um, or you might've had like dreams about this or visions or just, just telepathic communication. I feel like with these two people fighting over you, they, you know, the, the more toxic one kind of tried to almost like a Loki type energy where they kind of tried to like distort and confuse things. Like they tried to make you question things. They tried to like, they weren't strong enough to go up against this person. So they might've kind of tried to make you, um, doubt yourself or doubt this new connection coming in. Um, it's just cause some kind of miscommunication, like try to block in whatever they, way they can, but they're losing. Like I said, they're losing this fight. Um, and you probably know about this. I mean, this, like I said, this might not be conscious. This might be something going on in like the psychic realms. Like, cause I mean, people can feel that energy when they're losing you, they can feel that. So it's like they, they might sense this person coming in and just kind of do like binding spells on you or something, but it's being, they're not going to be able to be able to, they're not going to be successful is what I'm getting. So you don't need to worry. Um, keep shielding yourself too. If you're feeling this energy, you know, if you've been shielding, just keep it up, keep doing it, do uncrossing work as well. But I do feel like your dreams are going to get more clear. I feel like maybe your dreams have been like confusing lately, or you've been picking up on these different energies, but it's, things are going to, your, your, your true love, whoever this person is. And again, for some, this is the person from the past that we've been channeling. And for others, for others, you know, your person that we've been channeling, you know, is, is at least temporarily going down a darker path. So the universe is saying, screw that I'm bringing in someone new instead because they don't want you to have to go on this merry-go-round with them another day another week they're 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 not doing it um but this person is winning whoever this person is and I think like I said I think you guys know I think that you guys know which one is which but your dreams are going to get more clear is what I'm feeling and like I said if you want me to go more in depth into this just send me an email my email is below in the description box there could be a soul contract that's been causing pain and that could be why this person keeps spying on you and you might need to end the soul contract. There might be like a past life pattern here that keeps repeating with this person. Um, yeah, something, hmm, sex seduction. Yeah, something that kind of keeps you hooked. And, and, and so there might just be this like karmic cycle that needs to be wrapped up with someone because it's keeping you kind of submissive. Yeah. Show me the new love. They're going to be loyal to you and stable as you deal with your own mental instability because you have gone through a lot male or female, you've gone through a lot with someone and they're going to be strong and they're going to be your rock. They're going to be helping you out of this energy. It doesn't mean that you should just do whatever and like put them through whatever, but it just, it's kind of saying like, you don't need to be scared of like not being ready or not being good enough or not being stable enough. Like this person is going to be loyal to you. They're going to be stable. They're going to be making promises to you. They're going to understand. They're going to be very empathic too. So they're going to understand this energy like what you've been through and they've probably been through similar you might even hear um your ears ringing when this person is like thinking about you when they're around but there's going to be a lot of vulnerability here and they are some of you already know this person and they might be like watching you on social media and they might be you know ready to be vulnerable and send a message to you um for others i really do feel like your person is out there but you have to kind of put yourself out there for them more you have to, it's like you guys are like channeling each other, like you're picking up on the, on each other's energies, but like, 
they need a chance to find you. You know what I mean? And this is just for a few of you because a few of you I'm feeling are like home buddies and you guys just you don't really go out. Like maybe you even like order your groceries online or something like you just don't want to deal with people. And it makes sense. And especially if you've been alone, it's hard because if you've been alone for a long time, too, you get kind of sad to the point where you just don't even want to try anymore. Like you don't even feel like you have the energy to go out and do things. But it's just necessary to to open that door, even if it's just creating like a Bumble account or, um you know, joining social groups online, just, uh, you know, going out once, once a week, just go out and go out to a restaurant and have fun, just something, just, just get out of the house a little bit, go for a hike. If there's like some, you know, like nature around or something, you can go for a hike, just kind of get things moving. And that's part of, um, that's one of the laws of attraction as well. The law of, I don't talk about the law of attraction too much because it gets kind of complicated and sometimes people misunderstand it, but the law of motion basically states like, when things are moving, that's when things are flowing to you. If you're just at home all the time, it's like it's you need to be in that open kind of free spirited energy where things can just flow to you easily. So some of you guys really just need to put yourself out there more. Um, anyway, like I said, if you want a reading, just send me an email. It's listed below in the description box. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if it resonates. Thanks.